If you had a luck and pleasure of visiting Italy, you would know what a wonderful place the Amalfi Coast is. Today we will be taking you through a tour guide to the Amalfi Coast. You would know what a wonderful place the Amalfi Coast is, the best places to visit, the best things to do, and even some wonderful places to eat and drink. So the first question that might come in your mind is how to get the Amalfi Coast. Here is how. Looking for directions to the Amalfi Coast? From Roma or Naples, you may travel to the coast by train, bus or a combination of the two. Getting to Rome or Naples, typically by rail or hair, is necessary even if you are visiting the Amalfi Coast from some other town in Italy, such as Florence or Venice. Your time, comfort level, and final destination all play a role in the mode of transportation you choose. The Tiburtina Railway Station's bus depot offers a route towards both Positano and Priano from the middle of June through the end of September. The bus departs from the depot near Rome Tiburtina station at 7 a.m. Make sure you don't get it mixed. Touch with the daily ATAC bus stop located outside the Tiburtina railway station. Both Positano and Priano are serviced by the same train. There is a 21 euro one-way ticket fee. The train from Rome to Naples is another option. Italo Treno and Trenitalia both offer trains and the quickest takes around an hour and a half. About 40 euros for a one-way trip to Naples. The rate can be even less if you book the tickets in advance. Now once you reach the Amalfi Coast, how do you move from there? Booking a small airport ride to your hotel is by far the greatest method to prevent travel anxiety. As long as you have a group of four or more, you will pay a little premium over the cost of buying all of the bus and train passes you will need in order to get to the famous Amalfi Coast via public transportation. The cost of a private transport for your family with children may surprise you. If you're flying back from the Amalfi Coast, a private shuttle may get you from Rome to the airport without a hitch for your return trip. The best way to go from Pasitano to Naples International Airport without stressing about losing your flight is to book an all-inclusive private shuttle, taking a cab from the airport and requesting that the driver use the set fee. It will be around 20 euro to the seaport and is the best alternative by far. Do not leave the driver without specifying Varco e Macola Tila by name, otherwise he will drop you off at Molo Beverello. The cheap price of a bus ticket or pass is around 4 euro and may be bought at the ticket booth adjacent to the bus station. You can also check out these sites for more info. So, now that you are there, what are the places you should try out? We have for you! Number 1. Positano Positano provides that Christmas card scene with pink houses terraced along coastal ridge or looking azure waves. Just time spent in Positano would be enough to satisfy life's wish list. But there are also many and tons of activities to help you stay entertained. The major features in Positano are Santa Maria, Asunta. Capture a great image from Spaggia Grande. Get some sunshine at Arenzo Beach. Wander the small alleyways and commercial districts and enjoy in wonderful cuisine. Next, we suggest you head to the beautiful town of Amalfi. 
the Amalfi Cathedral's Duomo is the town's most notable landmark. So be sure to pay a visit and take in its beauty. Once inside, take a walk through the cloisters, a 120-column row that looks like something straight out of a fairy tale. It's a beautiful spot on the Amalfi Coast with palms all over, a gorgeous bell tower that looks like it outs of a fairy tale, and the famous Duomo, where the medieval lords are buried. When you're ready, hit the streets for some retail therapy. The greatest spot to buy souvenirs in Amalfi Lemoncello may be found in this picturesque village. On a guided walking tour of Amalfi, you will see the town, the cathedral, as well as the major retail area. In addition, it visits Positano's famous Piazza dei Molini and Rovillo's vineyards and olive groves, as well as the lawns of Villa Ropollo and Villa Kimboroni, which face the Amalfi Coast. Number 2. Ravello Ravello is the place to go for the greatest panoramas of the Amalfi Coast. This mountaintop village, located between Amalfi and Maiori, is a welcome respite from the bustle of the nearby tourist hotspots. The Villa Ropollo, a Roman villa, is a major draw in Ravillo. It has the most greatest views in the area and is a great spot to unwind and soak up the sun. Ravello's Piazza Centrale, home to the cathedral as well as the Ravello Art Gallery, is well worth a visit if you are looking for a romantic spot to dine all fresco. Number 3. Grotta dello Smeraldo Emerald Cave The Emerald Grotto, among the most popular sites in Amalfi, is situated only a few kilometers beyond the city of Amalfi and is a must-see for anybody visiting the coast. An emerald giant sea cavern may be seen when sunlight reflects off of the sea's green water. The official rowboats of the Grotto provide tours. The Amalfi Coast is known for lengthy queues, so plan ahead and take a trip from the one of the nearby towns. This full-day trip from Amalfi brings you to the beautiful Positano, where you may relax on the beach and see the Emerald Cave. The Emerald Cave is only a small part of what's on offer here. Discover the Amalfi Coast from the water spent two and a half hours in Amalfi's ancient city center, where you can view the cloister of paradise in the church of St. Andrew. Number 4. Fiordo di Frore Frore Beach Forore is an underrated gem of the Amalfi Coast's core region that is frequently neglected despite its wealth of sites and activities. It's a stunning drive up to Forore, which is framed by rocky cliffs and rows and rows of terraced vineyards. In this town, you may see a variety of murals that have been created on the sites of houses and businesses. There are a few options for getting to the shore itself. Just at Marina di Ferrore, it leaves only Fjord. You may walk down 944 stairs from the little village of Ferrore or take a boat via Positano and Amalfi. You can even take a bus. Please be aware that parking in Ferrore is quite limited if you plan to drive. Take advantage of the limited hours of sunlight that Ferrore Beach receives daily to sunbathe earlier during the light hours when you plan on visiting the beach. So, now that you know the famous spots, what would be the best things to do in this region? Well, here is what we have for you. Number 1. Visit the Islands of Capri. This is the location where dreams come true. The super yachts of the affluent and famous may be seen anchored off its coast. With no super yachts easily available, you can still find options for the average person to see the island. The ideal day journey from the famous Pasitano to beautiful Capri is on board a boat. 
You shouldn't spend the entire time in Capri if you don't have the time or money. Make the most of your boat cruise from Positano by going to Capri. This small group exertion visits Capri and the Mariana Grande in Sorrento for snorkeling. Here's where you may make your reservation. Up to 24 hour notice is required for cancellations. Visit the Blue Grotto in Capri while you are there. The Blue Grotto is a stunning marine cave lit by a small underwater slit that runs across its floor. Capri's Blue Grotto is a must-see when you visit the island. Number 2, Procida and Ischia. Twin islands Ischia and Procida are both located in the Bay of Naples and are near to one another. Despite their similarity in volcanic islands and stunning vistas of the Mediterranean, these two islands are very different in terms of size and personality. Despite its size, Ischia isn't very crowded. A day excursion to the island's attraction will give you a taste of its magnificence, but it would take many, many days to see it all. Taxis and buses are available. as well as the option to hire a vehicle, motorbike or scooter on the island of Ischia. A little 3.7 km in size, the island of Procida is in the coastal belt and is home to only one municipality, which includes the nearby islet of Vivara. This island's tiny size makes it ideal for day trips or weekend getaways. Procida moves at a far slower pack than its more populous neighbor. In terms of sandy beaches, Ischia has the most, and some of them are rather long and large. If you liked the video until now, don't forget to like the video and subscribe to the channel where you can find two things: places for your next travels, the cultures and traditions, starting from Italy to the whole world. Number 3 Trekking on the Path of the Gods The Santerio de Di or Path of the Gods is a popular hiking route in the area but it's not for the weak of heart at least 4 or 5 hours are required for this journey which is better accomplished in the off season Take the Sire bus from Amalfi to Nacello and a wonderful Garnita de Lemone at Lemon Point and then hike down the Amalfi coast to Bomerano taking in the most picturesque vistas of the coast along the way take a scenic path that links Positano and Angerola with stunning views of the sea as you go with a tiny group a walking guide leads this 10 km route through ancient farm buildings and peaceful communities number 4 try the famous lemoncello grab your favorite flavor and enjoy it while you are wandering in the streets lemoncello is a pleasant lemon liqueur that gets its name from the sorrento lemon that are used to create it near the coast of naples You may sip a limoncello aperitif at sunset while you take in the view of the ocean. The greatest approach to the learn about Italian wine culture is to go on a wine tour while you are in the country. From Napoli or the Amalfi coast, this private wine trip brings you to the Irpinia wines area in Campania. So where do you stay? The Anaj Collection Grand Hotel Convento di Amalfi on Amalfi is a good option. An elegant 5-star hotel in a former 13th century monastery within a 10-minute walk from the stunning Amalfi Cathedral. What could be more amazing? This is luxury in price. Info here. Or the fabled Hotel Mir Amalfi in Positano, Italy. The Hotel Mir Amalfi service is impeccable and the hotel's decor is immaculate. The hotel is on a cliff overlooking the sea, allowing guests to take in the stunning views. 
this is mid-range in price. Whether you're seeking for affordability or convenience, a private room is a stunning Positano home is the solution for you. Romantic room Positano's owner is great. Therefore, you can anticipate a wonderful stay there since the facility is immaculate. If you want a comfortable place while on vacation, consider staying at Hostel Brigette. It's the cheapest choice I could locate in Positano. But you will need to climb the stairs, the steps to get to it. Both of these at Positano are under $120. And lastly, what will you eat and where will you eat? Second Leone Rosso is situated in the heart of town. Only a few moments from the Circumvesuviana train station. On Via Marziale on Corso Italia, pizza range from the simple margarita to the descendant Nutella covered desert pizzas that are popular in Italy. As a welcome gift, Guests get a slice of warm focaccia as well as an Italian lemoncello. Price ranges from Euro 10 to Euro 20. Eat in Sorrento for little money at La Cantinaccia del Popolo and feel like you are part of the family. As soon as you come out of the famous Corso Italia, the restaurant serves hearty Italian fare cooked with fresh, high quality ingredients in a typical unpretentious setting prices go from 5 to 30 euro depending on quality where you can often reasonably priced beef meals in positano if you would want to eat anything other than seafood monte portusus hilltop la tagliata restaurant is a must try whatever you purchase you can count on receiving only the highest quality ingredients Everything is created from scratch in the kitchen using fresh, local products. All of the servings are generously sized. Prices range from 20 euro to 40, depending on the location. Restaurant and Pizzeria da Maria is the next stop. Amalfi's favorite pizza, only steps from the Duomo, may be found here. Traditional dishes are made with love and simplicity at this restaurant. Locals and tourists alike enjoy the Pisacane family-run establishment, which has been in operation since 1968. Prices range from 12 to 20 euros. Don't forget to subscribe and hit the like button. And that's it for today everyone. This was a detailed guide of Amalfi Coast. Comment down below and let us know what is your favorite activity if you are planning to come to Italy the next summer. Also consider visiting one of these 5 beautiful Italian lakes that you can discover in this video. Thank you for watching. Goodbye.